I'm Luke Searveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Just want to show you what we've got going on here. It's an all-hands meeting at a Silicon Valley company, and we're lighting it mostly with uh, ETC LED Daylight HD ellipsoidals with 26 and 36 degree barrels. Hold up. Well, let's go back to the beginning. So here are some uh, pano picks that I took during the scout. And uh, we're seeing it sort of from the audience point of view and then turn it around and we look back at the audience. Okay, so you can see that there's, you know, large windows uh, on one side and then uh, there's kind of like a balcony that's on either side of the large screen. And uh, we're going to have execs and managers uh, talking uh, below the screen there on, on the ground floor. And they're talking to the live audience and then that is being captured on multiple cameras and being piped to other employee locations around the world. Uh, this was the third time they were capturing it on video, as far as I know. Uh, the first time, they lit it with tungsten, uh, with the lipsoils. Then the second time, they used some LEDs and some HMIs. Uh, they came to me and said, hey, how would you do this? And so I used two S60s left and right just to throw them up there because they were kind of there on the last go round, they actually didn't do a whole lot for us. Um, not a ton of throw from the distance on the left and right tree. Um, but then we went with LED ellipsoidals. We went with the Daylight HD so that we could warm them just a little bit because the fluorescence that are built into the uh, the wall and the ceiling there are actually quite warm. So we could warm those a bit, bring them back down from 5600K to, you know, like 4000. And uh, so then from the two balconies on either side of the screen, we had sort of like, you know, backlights slash scratch lights. And then uh, from the tower in the middle, uh, that uh, was the, the main light, uh, front light on our stage. And, and then from the sides, there was a little bit going on, but um, those two trees didn't do a whole lot for us, uh, except maybe a little fill in and then uh, uh, a little pop on the podium that didn't get used very much. So um, that is kind of the, uh, the, the general um, setup of that. Uh, originally, I was hoping to take a large uh, mole Fresnel and put that up in the center, up high, and then, you know, uh, just um, um, put a teaser on it to keep it off the large screen, but um, uh, just bring that up from LA, because there are none up here in San Francisco. Um, it just, it wasn't feasible to do it on a regular basis unless I bought one, and I'm not quite there yet. Um, in a perfect world, we would just drop down a big old uh, box truss uh, from the ceiling, uh, and then, you know, hang whatever we wanted on that. Um, but then for the people sitting and standing further up on this raked uh, seating plan, that would just be in the middle of the screen. So, uh, plus there are no pick points. Anyway, um, it's an open area. So, you know, you have to go with it. You can't cut off the, the stairs. Uh, and... Um, uh, you just go with the environment that you've got. And it actually worked out pretty well, so I think we're going to do it again like that uh, soon. Uh, we may tweak it a little bit. And then we're running all that uh, through uh, wireless. The AKS is sending the signal to the antennas, and, um, and then we're manipulating that with uh, an iPad and, and Luminaire. We've got four clusters. Basically, the two backlights are together. So those are DMX together, and then there's a Wi-Fi from that. And then we have two trees down here, and then we have a, a larger tree up at the top. And uh, that's how we're lighting this. And let's hear a little bit from Colin Ducey, who was the jib op on the job, and he's gonna drop some knowledge on us. So with the jib, you know, some of the coolest shots are the foreground shots in a space like this, where you have back of people's heads, and you come up through that, and you find your speaker. It really ties together uh, you feel like you're in, you know, you're experiencing the, the presentation. Another big thing we did in this situation, we didn't want to have too long of an arm um, where we 
cross over the talent. We wanted to keep it short enough where we could give a, a big enough feel, um, yet still see both sides of the room. So our, our first position and our primary position is uh, there showing the screen and the presenter, but what I was able to do for the director is truck the base. I can actually move this base with the, either with the help of a dolly grip or even on my own. This takes a bit of uh, skill and experience to do, but uh, not a big deal if you have the, a nice floor. As we do here, we could get away with this. We weren't using the shot while we were trucking. In this case, it's not a dolly shot. It's just to reposition the base. So now I can reach to this far side of the room and I was able to show the kind of the POV of the speaker and him looking up at the audience. Um, so this was a real big uh, piece that was missing uh, from this show prior to bringing in the jib. Hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.